So take me back uh, to your second year of university. This is when you decide to make this life-changing decision. What was your life like before you decided? It was hectic in the normal ways that uh, a university student mm -hmm. has life, you're social holding, life. You're holding back. Give us more. <laughs> <laughs> hectic how? <laughs> normal, you know, the nightlife. Yeah. Uh, the womanizing. Ooh, okay. And uh, also just trying to get by with your studies. Mm. Uh, but buried under all that revelry was like an innate desire to know. Mm. Uh, who am I? What is this world all about? Mm. How can I be more qualified to offer love? Mm. I'm deeply interested in love. And I'd seen that those who wanted to love me came up short in terms of their qualification and I also came up short in showing love so I wanted to understand that better. How did you qualify though? How did you how do you qualify um, somebody giving you love? How do I fall short in loving you? How do we qualify that? So first of all you have to know who I am. Ah right. So if you cannot understand who I am deeply, then how can you love me? Hmm. And also if you don't know yourself then you don't really know how to receive love. So it generally becomes a superficial thing. 100%. Like I'm attached to your personality, I like your style of dress, or we vibe according to different music. And uh, those things don't land deeply when hmm. we come to love because it's the concept itself of love is a very deep concept. Just briefly, if I can put you on the spot, what is your definition of love? Well, love has to be something which, even in the face of all reasons for it to break and stop, it doesn't. Hmm. Love is also based on selflessness. It is exclusively for the pleasure of the beloved. Hmm. It is self-giving. It is self-sacrificing. And in its, at its highest, it is completely devoid of any inkling of personal gain. Aww. I love that. Yeah. I love that. I really love that.